The Plesiophone series is a set of four interactive artworks that comment on the evolution of human communication. It uses the medium of the telephone and cell phone. Plesio is from the Greek word for near and is the opposite of tele from telephone. Each piece attempts to provide an interactive experience to allow participants to step into the future essence of desired communication. Through the pieces, we look at the question, what is our communication future? Do we want to have a puff of air to open our closed ears, as in the lands from Gulliver's Travels? In the first piece, called Airphone, two people talk to each other through plastic masks around their face and ears, connected to each other by a plastic tube. This is how to open the communication. The masks allow two people to carry their private space around with them while they talk. Their voices are meant only for the recipient and are not public property. The tube connects the speakers so that the distance between them is always close and intimate. You can even feel the other person's breath. In a sense, it is the opposite of the portable cell phone. In this next piece, called Physical Phone, two people communicate with each other through two channels. One is a long-distance voice channel. The other is a physical channel formed by touch. When one person calls another, they must touch before they can hear each other. We use a simple touch-sensitive circuit to detect when two people are touching. Now they can have an intimate conversation. They are physically close, but we process their voice so they appear far apart. If they lose contact, the communication is cut. We use JMAX running on two computers to add noise and delay to the speech. This reinforces the virtual distance of the voice channel using a cell phone and the real physical distance of the physical channel. The JMAX patches also receive the human contact sensor information to connect the talkers. Plesiophone 1 provides the opposite experience to the telephone. It creates virtual distance between people who are physically close. Users have freedom to exchange their voice and thoughts in virtual space, but also maintain their physical, intimate channel. It suggests a new style of human communication and physical experience. In our next piece, called String Phone, we engage the talker's bodies to enhance personal and intimate conversation. This piece is like the string phone. Tension must be applied to carry the sound. We use both a real string and a virtual string attached to each phone. The virtual string will be projected on a large screen instead of the small display shown in this video. We use force sensors to measure the tension of the string. When one person calls another, they must both pull the string before they can hear each other. If one lets go, the conversation stops. The voice and tension sensor are processed by JMAX. When they pull tight, they are reconnected. The physicalness of both pulling the string intimately links them through their bodies. Literally, you feel tension, and it gives a strong sense of connectedness with the other talker through the pulled string during the conversation. String phone lets you remember the simple but often forgotten principle of communication, which is that communication is a collaboration of both sides and is fulfilled only through your physical effort. In the last and most technically complicated piece of the series, called SMS phone, we comment on the future of communication. Currently, short message service, or SMS, accounts for more than 30% of all cell phone traffic. What does it mean? We comment on this by connecting two talkers on their cell phone through a voice processing system. To make this system work, we have created a phone object in JMAX. This allows people to call the artwork and have the artwork connect to another party. We also have created a via voice object in JMAX, which does the voice to text and text to speech translation. Here's how the system works the talker calls the artwork, JMAX converts the voice to text and sends it to the other cell phone. The text is then converted back to speech using the text-to-speech synthesis object. The receiver person responds and the process is repeated in the other direction. 
The text is also sent as an SMS message for later reading on the cell phone. Thus, each talker communicates solely through text messages. Here's the SMS phone in action. Hello, how's it going? I'm heading home now. Hello, Paul, they're going from heading home now. Okay, I'll pick up my paper and go home. Okay, public, of the paper and go home. Okay, I'll pick up the globe and go home. SMS phone provides an experience of future communication. It also emphasizes that the telephone is a contemporary art form enabled by its mass audience. SMS phone on the surface is nothing more than a telephone number. It is the mass audience that collaborates to make it an artwork. 